In this problem, we have a table with the 10 kilogram box here. A string is attached to the 10 kilogram box going over the pulley, and uh, here you have an empty bucket. The empty bucket is 0.6 kilograms. Water is added to the bucket slowly until the system begins to move. If 3.4 kilograms of water is added, and the resultant acceleration of the system is 0.6 meters per second squared. Find mu s and the mu k between the box and the table, and the, the tension in the string during the acceleration. For mu s, it's related to the bucket with water begin to make the system accelerate. That's the begin to move part. So when the system began to move, the total mass that's hanging over here would be 3.4 plus the empty bucket, 4 kilograms will be hanging over here. That means uh, the mg, 40 newtons, would be pulling on the 10 kilograms. And that means uh, if the system begins to move, that means this 40 newtons is just enough to overcome that maximum possible friction, which is uh, mu s times the normal force. We don't know the mu s, we're looking for it. What's the normal force in this case? There are no forces pushing down the box or pulling up on the box, so this table ex feels the normal weight of the box. The normal force is 100 newtons. 40 equals to mu s times 100, so the mu s is 0.4. Now, for the mu k, that has to do with the sliding motion, so we'll have to look at the sliding motion part. If we follow the problem-solving procedures, first, the direction of acceleration. When the system begins to slide, the acceleration goes to the left and uh, down. And then we have to draw the force diagram. For the bucket with water in there, there are only vertical forces. To contribute to this vertical acceleration. You have mg, the non-contact force, the bucket plus the water is 4 kilograms, so the mg is 40 newtons. The bucket is touching the rope here, so you got the tension going up, pulling up. For the box over here, since the acceleration is horizontal, we don't really have to worry about the vertical forces. Besides, the vertical forces is just the mg and normal force, they cancel each other. For the horizontal forces on this box, we would have this box is touching the contact surface. Normal force is vertical, we don't have to worry about it. Friction, since the box is going to slide to the left, friction will go to the right. The box is also touching the string, tension is horizontal. So we got these two forces. It's not touching anything else, so that's it. So when, the, when we write the force equation, for the 4 kilograms, the downward acceleration means the downward force is bigger, so it's 40 minus T equals to MA. And we already know the acceleration is 0.6. So this gives us the tension in the string, that's 37.6 newtons. For the 10 kilograms, we have acceleration to the left, so the leftward tension is bigger, so T minus friction equals to M times a, and all we have to do is to plug in the tension, and uh, we will get the friction. So we get the friction is 31.6 newtons. 
but we're not looking for friction. We are looking for tension. So here's the tension. But what we want is the mu k. Now the only equation that involves mu k is uh, the kinetic friction equals to mu k times the normal force, so, which means we need friction and normal force to find the mu k. And we have friction 31.6 equals to mu k times the normal force, that is the weight of the box, 100. So mu k is 0.316. And there we have it. Another thing is uh, mu k. Since uh, from this equation you can see mu k is uh, the ratio between friction and uh, normal force. So this is newtons divided by newtons. That means uh, mu k has no dimension. So it's just 0 0.316. That's it. No unit for it. Before we end, I would like to bring one thing to your attention. It is sometimes easy for us to forget that the tension in a string does not always equal to the weight that's hung under. For example, in this problem, before the system begins to slide, it has a zero acceleration. When we look at the force diagram for this bucket and water, we can see that when the acceleration is zero, the tension equals to the mg 40 newtons. That's why I could say 40 newtons is the force that overcomes the maximum static friction on the 10 kilogram box. Because the tension in the string is really the one that pulls on the box. And when there is no acceleration, the tension does equal to the 40 newtons. But while the system is accelerating for this part, the tension is no longer 40 newtons. With a non-zero acceleration, these two forces are no longer equal. That's why we had to go through the problem-solving procedures to find the tension to be 37.6 newtons.